Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a parabola. But before we do, let's take a look at the equations. So the equation of a parabola, we have x squared equals 4py. Well, that's, that's a parabola that's going to either open up or down because the x is squared. And, you know, whether it opens up or down, that's going to be based on what value p is. And then we have one that's going to open either left or right. y squared equals 4px. See, the y, well, the y is squared. And whether it opens left or right, that's going to depend on p. Remember, one that opens to the right, p will be positive. One that opens to the left, p will be negative. And same thing up here. If p is positive, it'll open up. If p is negative, it will open down. And then we also have the focus and the directrix. So on one that opens upward, so we have a, let's say we have a parabola here. Okay, this would be your focus. Here's your vertex. So your focus, this distance from here to here is P. That's that distance, P. And then P units down would be your directrix. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. See, once we find P, we can get the coordinates of the uh, focus and we can get the directrix. And then same thing over here, except, you know, it's either going to open right or left. So if we look at this, if the focus is here, of course. This distance to here would be P, and then the, the directrix would be back here, P units, okay? Now, you know, don't, don't try to memorize, okay, well, I got to add P to this to get the directrix, or got to add P to this, or subtract P to get the focus. The best thing to do is you're going to, you're going to, just sketch out the information you're given and then and it makes it a lot easier to work and plus you know not all the parabolas are going to be at the the vertex is going to be at zero zero sometimes it may not and so another way to write these when they're see here the vertex is at zero zero but if we look at it x minus h squared equals four P times Y minus K and then here we would have uh, Y minus K squared equals 4 P times X minus H and the vertex would be H K alright so let's go ahead and take a look at an example alright so let's take a look at this example it says, uh, find an equation for the parabola that satisfies the given condition, has a horizontal axis, and it passes through the points negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, and 3, 1. All right, so that's, that won't be a problem. So if we plot the points, We've got negative one, zero, one, negative one, and three, one. All right. So there's the points. And just looking at the points, well, how do we know how it opens? Well, we know it opens left and right because it tells us it has a horizontal axis. So it's either going to open this way or it's going to maybe open like this. I don't know. We'll have to see. So, you know, the, the form that we saw in an equation that opened right and left, we had y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. All right. Well, that's fine and everything, but another form for the equation of a line and I think it's I think it's going to be easier for us to uh, solve if we use a different form for a quadratic since we have the three points 
we'll use the fact that x is equal to, now remember since it opens left and right, the y is going to be squared. So it would be a y squared plus b y plus c. So we'll use this instead. Alright, so looking at this, well, we've got our points here. These are, this is your x coordinate and this is your y coordinate. So let's plug this in. So if we plug the zero in for y, we get a times zero squared plus b times zero plus c is equal to this x value, which is negative one. And so this right here gives us, well, that all goes to zero, so we get c equals negative one. All right, so that's nice. We know what c is now. Well, we got to figure out what a and b are. Well, let's use the other points. So let's plug this in. So I'm plugging negative one in for y. So I get a times negative one squared plus b times negative one plus c equals x. Okay, so that equals x. In this case, x is one. And what this tells us, well, negative one squared is one. So one times a is a. And then minus b plus c equals one. And then we do the next point. So we'll plug one in for y. So a times one squared plus b times one plus c equals the x value, which is three. And so this gives us, well, one squared is one, so that's gonna be a and then plus b plus c equals, and this equals x, which in this case is three. All right, so let's see what we've got. Well, if you, if you look at this here, okay, so this gives us a minus b, and if we plug the negative one in for c, that's gonna be minus one equals one, and then a plus b, and then plug the negative one in for c, minus one equals three. And so, so what this does is gives us a minus b, and we move the one over, so we add one to both sides, so that's going to equal two, and then here we'll add the one to both sides, so this is going to give us a plus b equals four. And look at this, we've got a system of equations to solve. So I've got a minus b equals two, a plus b equals four, and solve it, use addition method. If I add them, the b's go out. So I get 2a equals 6, a equals 3. And now that I know a is 3, I can plug this back into either one and get b. And so I'll plug it into this second one. So 3 plus b equals 4. So that gives me b equals 1. And so you can see here, I've got C is negative one, B is one, and A is three. So now plugging that back into here, I get X is equal to A, which is three, so that's three Y squared. B is one, so one times Y is just Y. And then C is negative one, so minus one. And there's your answer. And I hope this video helped. Uh, check out the other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.